licensed by Sega Enterprises. What? What? The does that say the tick? 1994 Fox Interactive. Oh my God! What could we possibly be playing from Software Creations? The motherfucking tick. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the tick for Sega Genesis. I'm Microscopics. By the way, that has become very unusual to say. Uh, not the intro itself, and the format of the intro, but the fact that we're playing, yes, Sega Genesis. Um, you know, for, uh, we've been doing a lot of Nintendo lately since I started doing a lot of, uh, console gaming, right? So, when I first started this channel, I did a lot of PC stuff, and I will continue to do PC gaming, but right now I've been very interested in console gaming and just the, the nostalgia from games that I grew up on, systems I grew up with. And, um, you know, so Nintendo was like a really big part of my life. And Sega was like actually the first console I ever owned, but Nintendo was the first console I ever played. Um, so there's a lot of memories and that's why we've been doing a lot of different Nintendo games on different Nintendo consoles. So I figured, you know what? Let's give it a break. Nintendo's becoming a little bit stale, and I just bought a shelf to organize all of my games and all of my systems. And I'm looking at my stack of Sega games, I'm like, you know what? Let's do something fresh. Let's do something new, unique, and that's not Mario related, right? So, of course, I'm, t I'm trying, I'm looking at a bunch of games and Maybe, like, the second or third game I see, The Fucking Tick. I've had this game since... I, 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 I never owned it when it first came out, but it was definitely, like, late 90s, I would say, I, I've had this game. So, well over 20 years, for sure. Um, and I was shocked because that's probably how long I haven't played the Sega. Uh, I mean, I could be lying. Maybe I did play 10, 15 years ago. I just don't remember. But I know it's been over a decade for sure. And, I mean, the, the controller works great. Uh, the system, no issues playing any games that I've tested so far. Um, I just started up this game. This was supposed to be a test. But it started up fine. The controllers aren't janky or anything. It, it's great. So, um... Oh, we're just starting the game now. That's what's happening. And I'm solo again for this one. Um, Chewbacca's okay. She's just uh, busy. Life. Um, so this game, I don't know if anyone's ever even heard of the cartoon, by the way. Let's talk about that for a second. Um, I, I remember a cartoon existed. In the 90s. I remember being a kid. I don't remember the show. I remember bits and pieces. There's like fragments that I remember. And I don't know if it's because this cartoon, in my opinion, was maybe underrated. I mean, obviously, I, it didn't last. You know, it wasn't that popular. Um, I, I just love spamming the kicks, by the way. Uh... I just know that I guess the Tick is a superhero, and there's a bunch of weird characters, although he himself is weird. I mean, the Tick. And that was the level, by the way. Just fought on top of a bus. And it sounds like he's saying Foon. Which I don't know what he's referencing. Um, whoa! Woo! <laughs> I love the little ballet jumps. Oh, fuck. Whoa, crazy Zimbabwe. Oh, I love the ball the ballet jumps. Oh, this is totally Fox music. Woo! Oh, oh, oh! Fuck! Oh, okay, this is all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me now. Yeah, so in this level, when you jump off... 
you don't die. You end up in the, like, yeah, an alley. You have to fight these, like, little mini-bosses. This is Clark. I, I assume he's supposed to be, like, Superman. And if I remember, there should be... Yes, Kryptonite. I don't know. Yes, you show it to him, and now he is weak, and now you can beat him. That's how you beat him. Otherwise, you if you don't know to go all the way to the right to find the Kryptonite, he's unbeatable. But as soon as you pick up the Kryptonite, a few hits, he's down. Um, and I th now I think we start back on the buildings? Yeah, right where you, like, died, or not died, but you get what I mean. So anyways, getting back to the whole cartoon, um, do I just, okay. Whoop! Another spear, no. Woo, <laughs> I love it. Ah! Oh, damn it. No spears, okay. Oh, that was the level. Cool. So, I don't remember this cartoon being popular. And like I said, it's only fragments to me. Um... Now we're just on a rooftop. The music's... I died. Okay. Um... It's funny, because... I never actually beat this game, either. Um, I get to this one boss. I'll even tell you who he is. It's this guy called Chairface, I think? And you're supposed to beat him... Like, okay, he has like a laser. And his whole thing is to carve his name into the moon. With the laser, like in great, like... Yeah, like laser etch the moon. And... You're supposed to defeat him before his laser spells out Chairface or Chairhead, whatever his name is. And, uh, yeah, I could just never beat him. I'm not even sure, like, who the final boss is. I never beat this game. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is like, uh... Just a side-scrolling... Oh, yeah, and you get, like, team members. I guess these were other guys in the cartoon. Pretty much whatever action you do, they'll do something, so if I punch, he'll kick. And if I kick, he'll use his French bread? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> and I think he just lasts for one screen, like, uh one screen thing before I continue on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fucking samurai with a French loaf. Yeah, he just lasts for one. Woo! Yeah, so if anyone else remembers the tick, I mean, please inform me on what the hell the show was about. Who the tick even was. I mean, apparently there was a Clark Kent reference. Um. Oh, sorry guys, I'm like so concentrated right now, I should be talking. Um. Fuck, come on. There we go. Okay. Um... What the shit was that? Some dude just came flying... Kamikaze style. Oh, F you. Uh... I think I won't wait till I get to maybe a boss. I, I think there might be a boss fight on the rooftop here. Uh, let's... So anyways, how's everyone doing? <laughs> God damn it. It is the month of April. Uh, and you're probably thinking like, yeah, no shit, Mike. Why, why is this relevant? Well, it's relevant because I was born in April, right? 
Not to give away my personal information. Uh, because my birthday's on the 22nd. And I'm going to be the big 3-0. And I don't know how I feel about that. So... That's my life story. <laughs> God, I was probably like 8, 9 years old when I was playing this game. God damn it. And it's sad, too, because, again, I don't remember the cartoon. Just maybe fragments. Like, I remember seeing him, like, the character on TV. So I don't even know if I was... If I saw just even a commercial. Or if I sat through an episode. I know it was a show. I'm not crazy when it comes to that. Um... Oh, you gotta love those off-screen... Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, there's really zillions and millions and bajillions of ninjas. Um. <laughs> that was awesome. I like the flick. That was great. Um. Anyways, my whole... I, I was gonna say, I, uh, I... I I only know the game. God damn it. I'm my ADD. You guys, I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh, that was that. That was it for that. Chapter 2. Well, you know what, guys? I think we're going to stop right there. Um the thorn of oblivion sweet uh you know what we're gonna make this a series i was thinking about doing this as like a, a one-timer but I, after playing that first chapter i'm kind of into this i thought there was gonna be a boss too there was just no boss there's just ninjas and now I'm on chapter two. So I wonder when I'll face a boss. That's so weird. Anyways, guys. Um, I'll continue to ramble on in the next episode. So I, I, I hope you enjoy this. It's something, it's refreshing, is what it is. Guys, thanks for watching. And as always, peace.